Hello and welcome to my weekly video blog and today I'm going to talk about menopause symptom flare-ups, what causes them and what you can do to help yourself. If you like my tips and advice then please subscribe and remember to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of all my new videos. Do you find that one day you feel absolutely great, you've got your symptoms under control and you think that's it and then the next day everything flares up again Either your symptoms start to get worse or ones that you thought you would you dealt with suddenly come back with, with a vengeance. This is really, really common, and but it, it takes a lot of you quite by surprise. As, you know, you just think, what on earth is going on? I thought I'd finished with all that. So you might find that your hot flushes have increased or they've suddenly come back after six months. You might find you're emotionally more sensitive, you're having um, some crying sessions, or you find that you're getting more and more issues falling to sleep. You might just find that um, everything was okay one day and the next you're back at square one. So the main things that can do this is the hormonal changes. And I think most of us seem to think that our hormones will just fall gracefully in harmony with each other. And that's the way it goes right through the perimenopause and the menopause. But especially in the perimenopause, your hormones can go up and down like a yo-yo and they can peak very quickly. So you can have normal levels of estrogen one day, the next day they could shoot right up, the day after that they could really, really dip. And it's all these sudden hormonal fluctuations that can bring back and make your symptoms worse. So that's, that's the first issue that's going on. Secondly is poor sleep. And we know that even one night's bad sleep can have a huge impact on your general health and your body's ability to cope with anything the next day. So if you're suddenly finding that you're going through a phase of not sleeping very well, then it's not surprising that the next day you're going to be extra tired, extra anxious, and maybe those hot flushes or, or the night sweats are going to start up all over again. Dehydration is a big issue. And for those of you who've been watching for a while, you will know all about how important plain water is. And especially if the weather is really hot, we tend not to kind of click that if we are good enough at drinking water, if we have a really hot spell, we need to up that even further. So even if you think you're doing really well with the water, if temperatures are rising, then your water intake needs to rise uh, along with it. it. Can be extra stress, and you know who's not stressed at, at at the moment. So it can be you can be worrying about just day to day things. You can be worrying about your finances. It could be your family. It could be what's going on in the world in, in, in a general basis. So all sorts of stress and even little extra bits now and again will make us more vulnerable to those symptoms resurfacing and um, just flaring up once again. It's about not taking care, you know, and I do go, really, really do go on about this, that self-care is a priority. It's not a an extra thing that we do if we've got time. This is something that's a vital, it's a must that we need to care for ourselves on a daily basis. But if we get extra busy, then we just may forget or just like, oh, I don't have time for relaxation. I don't have time for an early, uh, an early bed or, or I just don't have time to do that wee bit of exercise that, that I normally do. So letting um, go of our self-care our body's just less able to cope with the symptoms. So again, they'll just come back. It could be that you're just forgetting some of your supplements. And I, I do recommend extra supplements during the perimenopause and menopause because our nutritional needs go up and we can take them, we can feel better. And then we just forget, we think, oh, I don't need them anymore. Um, and then we wonder why we don't feel as good, maybe more tired or, or your joints are flared up. And especially supplements such as calcium and magnesium, either your fish oils or your flaxseed oils for your joints and your mood. These are really important. And these are often areas that flare up really quickly just because you've forgotten these um, extra things in, in your diet. It could be just about being ill, you know, even a little cold, even just 
not feeling 100% for a few days or if you end up with the, with the flu or even a tummy bug or you might have, have had a bit of diarrhea or something. These all take extra energy away from our body as we're trying to recuperate and that in turn can make us more vulnerable to all these flare-ups as well. The other thing that can happen, and we do get a lot of you um, contacting me about this, is it may be a few years post-menopause. You may have got all your symptoms out the way. You might have had a couple of years of feeling okay. Suddenly the night sweats are back, the hot flushes are back, the anxiety is back or, or the joint ache it, it is back or the, the digest, digestive issues are back. And a lot of you will be saying, is this hormonal? It's unlikely especially the further away you get from when your periods actually stopped. But these can be due to other health issues. Stress, if you've gone through a period of stress, your body's reserves and your body's ability to cope with everything just decreases and that's enough to allow these things to resurface. So other health issues as well can creep in. So that would be things like anemia, that's low iron, it could be vitamin D or vitamin B12 deficiency. It could be thyroid imbalance. It could also be diabetes or heart disease because all of these can trigger symptoms that are practically identical to menopause ones. So if you're post-menopause over maybe three to five years after your periods have stopped, if any menopause-like symptoms come back, it's always a good idea just to double check with your doctor. For all, everyone else, so if you're going through menopause, you've sorted your symptoms and they come back, look at what was going on in your life when these symptoms reappeared. Have you been looking after yourself? Are you extra stressed? Have you, has your diet gone, gone downhill? Are you not looking after yourself? Are you not getting sleep? And very often you will find a clue and all you need to do then is just sort the issues that have pulled your reserves down that little bit extra. So I hope you found this one helpful. It's a really common situation, symptoms coming back and disappearing, but being aware of what can trigger them will then give you the ability to be able to deal with them a lot easier and also a lot quicker. So if any of you out there have been in this situation, did you find out what it was that triggered them? And how did you cope with them? Please share. You know I love to hear all your stories. And until then, I will see you next week and take care.